Hey, welcome to my living quarters. Come in. I'm a British-born Nigerian. That's kind of how I like to describe myself. British-born Nigerian. Lived in Europe, I've lived in Africa, and I've lived in the US. And so that's who I am. I went to University of Minnesota. And so since um, oh, pretty much all my adult life, really, I've um, lived in Minnesota. I um, started uh, music when I was in college. I ran into this friend of mine, and we just clicked. And um, we started doing music together. And it turned into, from a hobby, it turned into a serious thing. When I started out, I would say I was influenced um, by three main people. Prince, Bob Marley, and the police. They kind of reflect, you know, the whole, my diversity too, in the sense of, you know, Africa, Europe, and, um, you know, America kind of a thing. You know, definitely when I came to Minnesota, the whole Prince thing was in full flux, and um, his musicianship is incredible. You know, um, Bob Marley, lyrical, you know, he, he has a way of saying things really in a simple manner, but having them be so deep. Um, and Sting and the police, um, just musically, you know, um, how they were, if you listen to their music, it really sounds simple, but when you study it, you realize that, you know, they got sevens in there, they got diminishes, you know, it's just really, it's, it's actually more complicated than it would seem, but that's, that is the, that's the goal. I like to define the music I make as urban music. So everything, uh, you know, I, I got artists I work with. I, I work with artists all over the world. So I, I, I have some Nigerian artists I work with um, and we do Afro pop. I got some people in Europe that I work with. We do Euro pop. I have Caribbean artists I work with. We do dancehall, reggae, calypso, you know, combinations of R&B, you know, um, hip hop, you know, trap, all kinds of stuff, all urban music. Afropop would be the style, you know. Um, so I've actually lived in a few countries in Africa um, for short periods of time. So I kind of like, when I'm creating who the, whoever the artist is, I kind of tap from different things that I've experienced, whether it's, you know, my African experience, my American experience, or my European experience. And so it really depends on who the artist is. As a producer, I kind of want to really um, do things to enrich the artist and enrich the song that we're working on. Savannah Street, which is my company, really started out as, had three people in it. Um, I don't know um, if you guys remember Dennis Green, the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings, former head coach. He actually was co-owned Savannah Street Music with me and my friend that I ran into in college. So all three of us owned Savannah Street Music and um, when he left the Vikings um, and my friend left the Twin Cities I kind of was like well, what, what should we do what should I do with this company so I decided to take it make it a private company and bring it to my house and just start producing select projects from my house and you know I, I, I don't just do music I also you know help artists management and consultation I used to be a teacher at the Minneapolis Media Institute so I also you know, work with just educating younger art artists that are younger. What I like to do really is really new artists. I'm really passionate about working with artists and really developing them. I, I think in, in 2014, I had a few number one hits in, in the UK. And um, before that, I had a few Billboard um, top seven singles with different artists. So I've, I've done quite a bit. Um, but the, really the, the passion is really about um, finding new artists. I work with a lot of uh, you know, new artists in town here. It's really about finding new artists and just working with them to develop you know, their image, their music, their style, and help them find a place. Because you know, when you're a new artist, it's really difficult to understand, am I good enough? What should I do? Where should I go? So I kind of really help artists to develop their style and their image in there. I really gain a lot and learn a lot from the people I work with. So I, I try to keep a healthy balance between working with people that are younger than me, people that are around the same age as me, and people that are much older than me. And it creates, it creates this synergy of energy that I can gain. Back when I started out, it was guys playing instruments and recording. Nowadays, you know, you have computers and this, this 
and sampling and it's getting to a point where it's like the collaborative thing is is not as big as it was back in the day but I think it's coming back though you know, I've been involved in building actual commercial studios so I just um, knew what I wanted to buy equipment wise and um, knew I want, how I wanted it designed and I just made it happen <laughs> you know the, the goal is always to help artists accomplish whatever their goal is so wherever the particular office is based then I might go there or they may come here or you know we might collaborate via you know, internet and stuff like that but yeah it's definitely you know the world is is somewhat of a smaller place today anyway so you know um, the collaborative process can happen with people in Italy or people in Germany people in Iowa you know you don't have to necessarily um, jump in the plane all the time nowadays to get there but I do do that because human contact is really important talent is important but talent is a funny thing also so the talent um, longevity and what I guess a better word for longevity is the ability to stick with something over a long time period of time um, there are a lot of artists that um, are really talented but they 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 burn out fast or they 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 don't have the right uh, mental um, to practice their craft you know um, yeah so so we got um, longevity um, we got talent we got um, the ability to um, chemistry Chem chemistry is kind of like you know if you get in the room with somebody and and you know you're not vibing with them then you know no matter how much you might want to work with them it's not really going to work out so there has to be really true chemistry you know um, you know and vision you guys have to you know I you know when I work with an artist I like to talk about what I want what we want to accomplish so really it's, nowadays especially it's not really just about making some music because anybody can make some music it's about saying okay what do you want to accomplish as an artist you know you know most of the time nowadays music is really just a, an advertisement for your brand so um, so what do you want to accomplish as an artist really gets comes into play so if, if I find out that I love the artist's vision and we can be on the same page as that vision to understand chords better you know because I play keyboards I play guitar so I, I'm always trying to learn on that level I'm actually excited about everything I'm working on but that doesn't mean that everything I'm working on is always exciting every everything everything has its challenges and you know good days bad days but definitely I feel blessed to I'm excited about everything I'm working on if there was one thing I want to say I would say you know that don't seek to create a masterpiece seek to create the best thing you can create at the time and allow it to flow through you and just let it happen and leave it alone um, and move on to create something else and you know I, I, I meet some artists that uh, just keep on keep on at the same composition until thinking that, that that's what creates a masterpiece but if you go back in history with music you realize you know the Beatles some of their songs were written in 10 minutes you know and they're masterpieces <laughs> because you don't get to define what a masterpiece is other people do yeah thank you for visiting my living quarters at Savannah Street catch you all later <laughs>